Hey guys, Bukhari Master here. I'm back with a video. It's a little bit of an update, then a little bit of a uh, just so you know, and then what I'm looking to do and what PCs I'm really looking to try to collect a little bit. So first off, um, let's get started with what I am trying to do lately. Um, I'm trying just to go strictly football. Um, I've been avoiding this a little bit, but uh. My football cards start picking it up, and I, I, I really love football. It is my second favorite sport to baseball, but it's so much easier to move football on here that I just find it easier for me to collect it, too. So if, uh, if I would trade my baseball and basketball for football, I'd probably just keep PCs on the side for cards that I really, really liked that, uh, that would just be my baseball for trade for sales or my basketball for trade for sales and just keep them from now on. Or try to move them for different football cards that I want to collect. But as you can see, um, the three cards in the background are really three cards I really like. I love the design of. So if you have any like, uh, I love die cuts. So that leaf, that leaf valiant honor guard is really nice. And then the uh, Nick Castellanos Bowman Platinum die cut is really nice and then i really love this year this year limited of certified i mean limited which is 2011 i also love 2012 certified uh the blue and the golds mostly but uh i told you guys but i didn't really really tell you um i legitimately stopped my uh pc for first rounders mostly because i found out there's a few first rounders too that you cannot have an autograph of. I forget one of them, but the other one's Kyle Long, who was the Bears' first round draft pick. And he literally does not have an auto in Sage or Hit or anything. And I mean, I can't get, I want an NFL uniform auto too, which is the hardest part because Travis Frederick doesn't have an NFL uniform one. And I've been looking through all these guys, and it looks like there won't even be in any upcoming ones. So. That's great, but uh, yeah, um, so I'm I'm really looking for those three types of cards, and the PC that's taking the place of the first rounders is gonna be, hold on, running backs. Um, I'm looking to do every team starting running back. So um, here and for I'll explain what I'm doing for the guys with the two running backs, um, or multiple running backs. First off for the Jets, Bilal Powell. Uh, then I have this Richard Mendenhall. Looking to upgrade this one for a different Mendenhall. Uh, this is really nice. I love this card, Matt Forte. I have this uh, MJD jersey autograph to 49. This Doug Martin dual jersey auto to 50. This Shady McCoy autograph number 3 of 5. I really like the way that they did this year, this particular year limited with the numbering, the great backs, and then the beautiful fronts. So, uh, David Wilson, I obviously have a lot of these autos, a lot of different David Wilson autos, and then this is the one that really started off AP. So, for the ones with dual running backs, I'm looking just to get like the two. So, Saints, I would get a. Uh, the Saints, I would get like Ingram and Sproles. For the Jets, I would get Chris Ivory and Blau Pal. For the Chargers, I'm only looking for Ryan Matthews. Not looking for uh, Felix Jones. Um, what are the, I'm not getting a Ben Tate with an Arian Foster. That's just stupid. Why would I get a Ben Tate with Arian Foster? Arian Foster is clearly the dominant one. Uh, I'm getting into Marshawn Lynch soon. I'm getting in a lot more of these running backs so you'll see that lately and then um what i've been really looking to do is actually the miami marlins uh not looking for rob brantley so if anybody offers me any rob brantley i'm gonna be angry but <laughs> no i'm kidding i just don't like rob brantley but there's a few miami marlins that i really like um one of them that i want to start a piece of that i didn't even know of till this year but um the names are uh andrew can't say his last name, but you guys know who it is. A uh, guy I've really liked since he was a Blue Jay 
which is um, Jake Marisnik. I remember when the 2012 Bowman came out, and I got this Jake Marisnik, Marisnik card, and uh, it was a purple, uh, just paper, and I kept it, and I still have it actually, and it's a really nice card, and I really like Jake Marisnik, Marisnik every single day. Since then, uh, wow, that sounds stupid. Uh, I, I liked him a lot since then. But then um, there's also uh, Henderson Alvarez. If you remember, I did a few uh, hot pack openings of 2012 Bowman Draft. And I actually can't find my Henderson Alvarez auto and jersey. I also like him since I did pull two things of him. But um, he's not as good as like the no-hitter. So I'll wait for his stuff to calm down. Cause he's not really that good. Like He's, he's more like the second or third Start on that rotation, which is saying not much because they do have three great pitchers. Um, another one, the one of the great pitchers I like, he's going to be great at least. It's going to be uh, Nathan Evoldi. Uh, he was traded from the Dodgers and for in the hand ram deal. I like Evoldi, um, so I really want to get an auto him. I also want Alan Webster auto, but he's on the Red Sox, so I might not get one of those. But, uh, uh, and then the last one would be, last two, a three, really. I don't know if I'm going to do the third one, though, which would be uh, Jose Fernandez because he's a little hard. But one of them is this Marcelo Zuna. Um, I like Marcelo Zuna, so uh, I, I really love his swing. So if you have any Marcelo Ozuna autographs, I really like him. Um, I, I remember randomness, PC's Marcel, so... If you go with the randomness first, I'm going to hate you. <laughs> Just JK. And then um, the last guy is Christian Yelch. I do have this rookie top prospects. I don't know why that's in a bag. I got, oh, yeah, because I took something out and I didn't have anything to replace it. That is Christian Yelch, tops chrome. Uh, Christian Yelch is a really nice young prospect. Um, I'm also going to be picking up a Logan Morrison auto. I don't know if I'm going to go too far with Mike Stanton. I might just pick up like one or two autos. But that team is really, really on the rise. So I suggest picking up autographs now of these players because they're obviously going to be doing well. And uh, I'm usually pretty good at judging these guys for some reason. But um, I say the next four years, the Marlins will be a contender just because of the way they're there, uh, I hate Solano because he got he got Tino fired, and I'm a big Tino guy, Tino Martinez. But uh, no Solano for me, sorry. But uh, yeah, I mean they're they're on the rise. So thank you guys for watching. Um, just a little bit of an update. I'm looking to trade for football, remember? And uh, you gotta let me know. All right. Um, sorry for any uh, non-response lately. Uh, having some complications with YouTube PMing and commenting. Uh, I'm not getting every comment. Uh, and uh, People say they PM me and then I never got their PM. And or a lot of people have been giving me crappy offers lately. So if I get a crappy offer, I'm most likely not going to respond to you. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.